What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about some new cereals that are just out or that are coming out in the next few months. I have a few more special videos I want to get to before we wrap up cereal time, but I wanted to make sure that you knew about the new upcoming cereals so you could keep your eyes out for them when they hit shelves. I've managed to find two of these new cereals already on shelves, and I'll show you those boxes and those cereals today, but for the others, we're just going to run through speed round so I can let you know about all the new cereals coming out. First, let's start with the new General Mills cereal or a new flavor for a classic General Mills cereal, New Frosted Lemon Cheerios. I love pretty much any new flavor of Cheerios they offer, so I'm excited for this variety. You can see on the box here, it has sliced lemon on it. It's a nice frosty yellow tone to it. Let's take a quick look at the back of the box here. This one is a word game where you have to figure out each word that replaces one letter from the word above or below it. I like word games, so this one was pretty fun. I just wish they didn't have pictures on the side telling you each of the words. Anyway, let's open up this box of Frosted Lemon Cheerios and take a look. So here's what a bowl of these new Frosted Lemon Cheerios look like. You can see they're a little paler in comparison to real Cheerios, but not little lemon bits or anything like that. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. Mm. Mm. I love that sweet tart lemon flavor. It's got this fresh crisp flavor to it. You know what would go really good with these? Some fresh blueberries or maybe some blueberry drizzle. That sweet berry flavor with the lemon tang, it's a great flavor combination. But this stuff tastes pretty great just as it is too. Another great variety from Cheerios. And keep your eyes peeled for another flavor of Cheerios coming soon called Vanilla Spice Cheerios. This box should be hitting shelves soon. I'm not really as excited about this one. I feel like Vanilla Spice won't be anything special. It'll probably just taste like vanilla, but who knows? Cheerios doesn't usually disappoint, so we'll see. Okay, so the other new cereal that I already found a box for is the new Pebbles variety, Berry Pebbles. Now this box features Betty, Wilma, and Pebbles, and you can see there on the bowl it says Women Who Rock. They're using this flavor of Pebble cereals to celebrate women. And it's always cool to see some mascot change or some more representation on the front of cereal boxes, so that's pretty cool. The cereal looks like it's blue, pink, and purple pebbles there in the bowl. And you can see the three colors here in the font for berry up there. Let's take a look at the back of this box. And just like the front, the back is celebrating women with some games, activities, and famous facts about notable women in history. You have Wilma counting the bones on Juliet's x-ray, pebbles trying to find the right hose, Betty trying to win the race, and Miss Quartz is solving the hidden messages. I don't know who Miss Quartz is, but I'm not an avid Flintstone fan. And they really couldn't make a box of pebbles without trying to include Fred there on the box, huh? All right, well, let's open up this box and take a look. So here's what a bowl of berry pebbles look like. They just look like regular fruity pebbles, but only in three berry colors of blue, purple, and pink. Let's hit them with some milk and give them a try. So... The berry flavor isn't terrible, but it's kind of generic, like a berry cereal I've had before, I just can't place. They kind of taste like berry Tums, if you've ever had those with the kind of chalky flavor. I know that's not what Post is going for, but whatever, they're fine, they're not offensive, but they really don't hold the candle to original Fruity Pebbles. I always like to try these new Pebbles varieties, and it's fun to have different flavors, but at the end of the day, nothing can top one of the best cereals of all time. Okay, so now I'm gonna quickly run through a handful of new cereals that you should be seeing on shelves in the coming months, and some you might already see on shelves. But we're gonna be quick, so try to keep up. First, let's start with Kellogg's. Supposedly there's gonna be a strawberry cheesecake special K variety coming out soon, as well as a maple raisin bran. I think I saw something about a new frosted mini wheats flavor too, but I think these might all be unconfirmed, so take them with a grain of salt. One that is definitely confirmed and already popping up on shelves is new Rainbow Krispies. This is a fruit flavored Rice Krispies version that's obviously trying to compete with Fruity Pebbles. The cereal pieces on this one don't look like traditional Rice Krispies, but I'm interested to try this one to see how the flavor and texture compared to Fruity Pebbles. So good luck with that, Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Next, Frosted Flakes and Minecraft are teaming up to come out with a Frosted Flakes cereal with little creeper marshmallows. This is just regular Frosted Flakes with marshmallows. Nothing new or special about this one, although I didn't know that Tony was a gamer. There's also a new Fruit Loops you should already see on shelves. It's called Fruit Loops Mega Mix-Ups. This is just regular Fruit Loops mixed with larger size Fruit Loops as well. I guess they saw those boxes of giant Fruit Loops selling and they thought, hey, we can get in on this too. Next, there's a new Zag Heroes Miraculous cereal from Kellogg's. Now I'm old and I have no idea what this cartoon is, but apparently it's Paris Teenager Crime Fighters or something. Kellogg's is marketing this cereal as the first macaroon flavored cereal, but I think it's just normal strawberry flavored cereal with marshmallows. So nothing really new or unique there either. As for pairing with brands, Kellogg's is once again going back to Little Debbie, this time for new Swiss Roll cereal. I predicted this would happen in a previous Little Debbie video. This is just a reboot of Kellogg's 
chocolate fudge ripple mini swirl cereal they released back in 2005. Now it's just rebranded under the Little Debbie name. Personally, I wish they'd try to make a cereal inspired by Little Debbie's Star Crunch Cosmic Cookies. It would basically look like a chocolate caramel version of Rice Krispie Treat cereal. I'm telling you, the fans would go nuts over this, Kellogg's. And then lastly for Kellogg's, they're also pairing with Icy to release a new cereal. Now this red and blue Icy cereal supposedly cools your mouth as you eat it, but if you remember, they tried that with the Elf on the Shelf cereal last year and that stuff did not cool your mouth when you ate it. Or maybe my mouth was just broken and it works for other people, but I suspect this actually won't cool your mouth when you eat it. But still, that's a pretty cool box and I'm excited to collect and try that one too. Okay, now let's move on to new General Mills cereals that will be hitting shelves soon. First, they must have seen some success with that Minis brand because they're releasing the Cocoa Puffs Minis as well as the Lucky Charms Minis. Now the Lucky Charms version is tiny little corn spheres with marshmallows, not oat spheres. So they're not using Lucky Charms real recipe to make this cereal, but that's par for the course when they do these Lucky Charms varieties. There's going to be a new maple brown sugar Czech cereal, so if you're a Czech fan, check that one out. There's a new cinnamon toast crunch flavor hitting shelf soon, Tres Leches toast crunch. It'll be interesting to see how they transform this popular Tres Leches cake into a flavor of cereal, without it being like just a plain vanilla toast crunch. But cinnamon toast crunch usually comes with great varieties, so I'm excited for it. Then, just like how General Mills went to Hershey to make Hershey Kisses cereal, now they're going to hit us with a new Kit Kat cereal. Now this cereal actually already hit shelves over in Europe, and the reports are kind of what you'd expect, a bland chocolate chocolate cereal just like that Kisses cereal, but I appreciate the interesting shaped pieces that look a little unique and different, and I love Kit Kat, so I'll definitely pick up a box of this one too. And then we have three movie tie-in cereals coming soon from General Mills. First, it looks like Guardians of the Galaxy is getting their own cereal. This looks like Cocoa Puffs with marshmallows, so nothing really unique or special there. The next one is for the new Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse movie that's coming out. I love the first movie, I'm really excited for the sequel. As for the cereal, well, I'm not so excited for that. It's just Spider-Berry flavored corn puffs with Spider-Man themed marshmallows. Marshmallows. The only reason I'm so critical of this cereal is because the original Spider-Man cereal from Ralston back in 1995 is still one of my favorite of all time. And then the last movie tie-in cereal is for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie coming out. I don't think I can show you pictures of this box. I'm actually not sure I'm even supposed to be talking about it yet. Sorry, General Mills. But it's going to be apple cinnamon flavored corn puffs with turtle themed marshmallows. And again, this one won't compare to the original turtle cereal released by Ralston back in 1989, which was almost identical to Spider-Man cereal and also one of my favorites. Okay, so I think we did it. That's all the new cereals I can think of that you'll see in the next few months. I'm sure I'm probably missing one or two. Unfortunately, when I stop making videos, I'm not going to be able to show you all these new cereals, but I still will be buying all these cereals and collecting the boxes. And I might continue posting about new cereals on Instagram still and using them in Roll for Cereal videos on TikTok. But that's gonna do it for the last new cereals I'll discuss here on Cereal Time. Which ones are you most excited to try? Let me know down in the comments. All right, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. You think they'll finally release a gingerbread cereal this year? Cereal Time.